What's going on guys? I uh, just got out of work. I just made five trillion dollars at my fine dining serving job. Just an FYI if anyone wanted to know. That's not the point of this video. Uh, and as you can see, I, I think I did a little edit in the beginning of the video of my, uh, I'm actually driving the 2017 Infernal Red Kia Sportage right now, just because uh, I didn't feel like driving the 86 today. I wanted to give it a little bit of a break. Uh, it's been a workhorse for me, so I wanted to, you know, keep it in the stable for a day. Purpose of this video was because yesterday I saw a movie, and you guys know me, I love a good movie. I've done a few uh, movie reviews. I haven't done them in a while, but this is gonna be kind of a movie review, but not really in my uh, Matt Marauder style where I just get blasted, sit down, and then commentate over it. Uh, this is gonna be a recap the day after. I had some time to sit on it. This, this movie I've been anticipating for a really long fucking time simply because, and I guess I'll spoil it here, if there's monkeys in a movie, Matt Marauder's fucking watching it and that's really, that's the size of it, guys. That's all there is to it. If there's talking monkeys in a movie, bring on the fucking monkeys. There's no better formula than sitting down and just watching talking apes fight with each other to the death and occasionally seeing humans get their asses beat. That's just the recipe, a perfect recipe for a movie. Now, the Planet of the Apes trilogy, like the new one, I never saw the Planet of the Apes from like the 60s and the 70s because I, I was born in fucking 2003. So any movie before 2003, I just, I refuse to watch it because it's out of my time period. Saw the new trilogy with fucking Caesar the Ape, James Franco and shit like that. And uh, basically James Franco created a cure for Alzheimer's for his dad. Then Caesar inhaled it and then got smart as fuck. So the cure for Alzheimer's makes monkeys smart and makes humans fucking die or some shit like that. So Caesar gives all the ape, all the apes this Alzheimer's gas to like, like make them smart and shit. And then they basically take over the world. So Don, there's, there's Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which is Caesar's backstory and his lore. You get to see baby Caesar. He's all cute and shit. Then you got Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, which is personally, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is my favorite movie of the trilogy, just because how much of a badass Caesar is. Then you got the, the main uh, antagonist or one of the antagonists, Koba. Koba was about that action. He looked like a fucking crazy person. And he had a reason to be a villain, which I could fuck with. And a lot of movies, they new movies especially, because new movies, I mean, the movie scene now is just like, I mean, we're what, like I saw Madam Web, and I might as well have just fucking sat down and stared at a fucking wall for three hours. Now every movie is three hours long, which it shouldn't be. And that's why I love the movie Anaconda so much, because it was one hour, 35 minutes, and I just got to watch J-Lo on the screen the whole time, a young Jennifer Lopez on the screen. So I'm happy with that. But in this movie, there was no bad bitches. So Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was my favorite. It was just all around good. They're you talking apes riding horses using machine guns, undefeated. War of the Planet of the Apes, I mean, it was cool. That bald guy was the villain. And the one of the gorillas that was bad ended up turning good. And they also smothered this albino gorilla, which was kind of hilarious. I liked that scene. It was pretty funny. Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, to me, were the two, uh, the two go-see movies. Those were the best movies to see, but you had to see War if you saw the first two. I'll stop fucking wagging my chin about it. So before the movie even started, we were in theater nine. It was a 9.20 show time because the other time was six and 4.30. So it's like when you're going to see a movie at, at six, when the fuck do you go get Kava? Do you get Kava before the movie at like five? which is like who the fuck eats dinner at five that's like of age or go to the movie at six and then eat dinner at 8 30. so i was like i'm not doing that i'm going to the 9 20 showing the latest showing so me and the monkeys can get personal after dark before the movie started my the uh, amc that i went to they had a bar and now that i'm 21 i'm of age i can drink as much alcohol as i want until my liver fails until i turn my liver black or until i turn yellow from jaundice which is my goal i want to have jaundice by 40s so we finally get there and i'm like you know what while i'm watching this kingdom of the planet of the apes movie i'm watching these talking apes so already it's a fallacy so why don't i just get hammered at the same time and maybe that'll increase my movie experience which is something that i think i'm going to be doing from now on i think i'm going to be drinking alcohol and watching movies from this point on just getting sloshed and watching movies might be better than getting absolutely blasted off my tits and watching movies i'm like what beer am i gonna get so i, I decided to get the sam adams summer ale and let me tell you that was fucking delicious i slurped that sam summer ale up pause and i i didn't feel any buzz because i'm giant so it takes a few beers for me to get going but it was good to like loosen me up a little bit for the eight movie so i go and i sit down and we got there at 9 20 so we watched some credits New movies, figure it out. These new movies that they're fucking making. Like, there was a new uh, trailer for the movie, the new movie Alien. And the trailer was honestly awful. Like, my girlfriend leaned over to me and she was like, that's a really bad trailer. And for my girlfriend to say that, it's just embarrassing. Because she doesn't give a fuck about movies. So for her to actively be like, that was bad for a movie trailer. I mean, they didn't even show anything. It was just like in space. And then, like, 
people running and that was the trailer. The new movie Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling. Uh, suck my dick, that movie looks so bad. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. So I'm sitting down, I'm sloshed. Not really, I'm just a little bit buzzed. But uh, movie's two and a half hours long, so I'm ready for a ride. I'm ready to meet Proximus Caesar, because I've been seeing a lot about Proximus Caesar. All those TikToks that they've been showing, where it's that guy that literally looks like an ape, that it played Proximus Caesar, and I see the TikToks of him being like, I went to four weeks of ape school for this role. I did four weeks of ape school? And it's like, first of all, not a long time to be going to ape school. That's nothing to brag about. If it was four months or four years, that would be more impressive than four weeks of ape school. So he's like bragging about it, but really like, my daily, my daily life is ape school. So I've been going to ape school for 21 years. So I don't know what this guy is even bragging about. So the dude went to four weeks of ape school for this role. And it, it showed because Proximus Caesar was a badass. I'll get into him later. Pause. But uh, so we start off and it's like Noah and they're like getting eggs and shit. And you got to get eggs because they're like clan as apes. It's 300 years in the future where the apes are like taking over the world basically. And there's no more humans. They look at humans like they're like apes. So it's kind of like role reversed and I'm all for it. I wanted this movie to be just the apes like having their way with the humans and just doing genocide on the humans. That's what I thought it was gonna be and that's kind of what I wanted it to be but it really wasn't that. So Noah's the main good ape, he's our protagonist and he's not really like, he doesn't have any good, not that he doesn't have any good qualities but he doesn't really have anything about him that like sticks out. He's kind of just an average ape. He does look very humanoid which I kind of wanted him to look like a scary ape a little bit but he does look like very human, which is okay. I wanted him to be a little more menacing, but I guess his thing was kind of to be like a twink, I guess, of an ape. He's chill. Their whole thing with their ape clan, because there's a bunch of different ape clans, there's a bunch, because there's a bunch of different ape clans, their thing was they like train eagles and shit to like fly around and I guess get shit for them and attack like, and like get food, like they get fish and stuff. So that's their whole like clan thing. But then Proximus is fucking goon boys but the the proximus goon squad comes in and like the head honcho is a gorilla which first of all in these planet of the eight movies these motherfucking gorillas are so intimidating number one and they're always about that fucking static bro they're always ready to spark a motherfucker up like the the gorilla in planet of the apes in the gorilla in kingdom of the planet of the apes was always about that action like he never stopped bro he was whenever he was on screen he was trying to whoop ass and that was it he was he, eventually he died spoiler alert but he was trying to whoop ass till the very end even before he died he drowned and he was ready to beat noah's ass as he was drowning so i i fucked with his character and i i, I don't know I, I wish he was a good guy but he wasn't this gorilla and his goons and proximus's goon squad which were sent by proximus they like tear down noah's whole village burn it they kill his pops and they leave, because of course Noah survives. He's, he's like the only one that they leave there that's alive because they think he died because he fell. But it's like he obviously didn't die because he's Noah, the ape. He's the main character, so he didn't die. So there's no surprise there. He wakes up, his village is gone, everyone's gone. So then he like goes on a fucking quest to find Proximus Caesar, which okay, I'm down for that. That's pretty cool. And along the way, he meets this orangutan that gives him like this the secrets to to who Caesar the ape was. And then eventually he dies. He gets swept away in a current. So that's that was kind of the end of his character. I was hoping, cause I liked Maurice. If you guys don't know Maurice from the first Planet of the Apes trilogy, he was the, <coughs> he was the big orangutan from the first three Planet of the Apes. And he was the chillest character of them all. He was like Caesar's boy, his go-to right-hand man. He was basically the John Gotti to whoever the fuck was the big mob boss at the time. That motherfucker that looked like he ate Italian food every day for his whole life. Also, just a little tidbit for you guys. Maurice is the is the orangutan from the trilogy of Planet of the Apes. And I actually had a table today at my job. I was serving a table and the dude's name was fucking Maurice, which is a badass name. And I'm probably gonna name one of my sons Maurice. They go on this quest and then they meet this human girl that doesn't speak at first. She really pissed me off. And I didn't like how the humans like didn't talk, but talked. I thought they like couldn't talk anymore. Wasn't that the whole thing? from like the last, from War of the Planet of the Apes was like, they're not supposed to be able to talk anymore. They like go on this quest, they get attacked by Proximus's goon squad a few times until eventually like on the third time they get attacked, they get captured. Then we meet Proximus, he does that whole today is a wonderful, what a wonderful day shit, which I don't even think that line is that cold. All these like TikTok edits of the today is a wonderful day, like I don't think it's that cold. Like they'll, it'll be like, what a wonderful day. And then they'll play like eat where it's like, boom, da da ba with the bay. What a home, what a bay. It'll just be like flash cuts of Proximus. What a wonderful day! Proximus, dude, they painted Proximus out to be like he was this big bad villain. I didn't even think he was that bad. He kind of just wanted 
the apes, like, yeah, he, yeah, he had slaves, and yeah, he's a cold-blooded killer, and yeah, the whites of his eyes are black, which is fucking badass, but, like, he really just, besides the slavery part, he really just wanted the apes to succeed, and he wanted death to humans, which, if I was there, and I was an ape, I feel the same exact fucking way, death to the humans in the Planet of the Apes universe, you know what I mean? But we get this whole thing, they're trying to get this, like, get into this vault that the humans left that has, like, the secrets to fucking humanity in it, and Proximus can never open it, but of course, within the, the first two days of, of uh, Noah and his, his uh, human counterpart being there. By the way, the orangutan died. I don't know if I mentioned that, but the orangutan that taught Noah Caesar's way, he's, he died. He got swept away in a current. I don't remember if I mentioned that. So that's Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. That's the whole summary, so you don't even have to see it anymore. That's the whole two and a half hours just summarized for you. Also in the movie, one of the big plot points was they kept looking through this like old decrepit telescope because it was 300 years in the future is when this movie is based post humans. So everything is decaying and they end up in this observatory a few different times in the movie because there's a telescope in there. So they look through it and stuff. And that's like obviously fascinating to them because they never seen outer space before. So that's like the whole plot line. And then the very end of the movie, they look into the telescope again and they look shocked as fuck. So my friend had this theory that because in, apparently in the first movies in the 60s and 70s it was about like it was just happened to be based on earth but it was about a civilization of apes that conquered the humans basically like how we are now because we above ape with it right now but it's basically as if the roles were reversed and they're found because like a civilization from space sees them and then comes down so my friend thinks that what they're seeing in the telescope is actually people in space so they're like freaking out about that. I, I don't know. That that could be. So they could be trying to redo what they did in the 60s and 70s. But I don't know. I don't think that makes much sense to me. But maybe I'm naive. Uh, I think that's the videos. Yo, quick little side note. I'm whipping up some spag for the boys. So I'm bulking. So I'm doing linguine. And I'm doing like 800 calories of linguine uh, when I get home from work. Just because I'm trying to bulk. So I wanted to add that as I was watching the movie, I had to pee because I had taken down so much alcohol. Like I had a whole tall beer. So I had to pee once. And as I was exiting the theater to go to the bathroom, there, as soon as I opened the door, no lie, dude, there was 50 Asians just standing there staring, not staring at me, but like just looking around talking and everything. So I had to like make my way, fucking bob and weave, thread the needle through 50 different Asians for some reason that were just outside of my theater talking. And I have fucking proof of it. So I took a, a fucking selfie secretly and I'm going to show that here. And I just wanted to add that to the video and, and end it with that because that was a weird 50 Asian encounter that I didn't really know how to react. And I wanted to show you guys that.